Hi, my name is Dr. Allison Wiedeneft, and I'm the Biologics Coordinator for NOMS. Thank you for helping with the NOMS Sheep 2024 study. This recording will review the enteric microbe kit contents, demonstrate sample collection, and go over shipment procedures. The fecal samples collected as part of this kit will undergo testing for Salmonella, E. coli, Campylobacter, and Clostridium perfringens. Results will be sent to all participants. Our number one priority here at NOMS is to ensure that you and the sheep are safe. If you or the producer are not comfortable collecting from a specific sheep, then do not collect the samples. To minimize repeat handling and animal stress, it is recommended you collect all needed samples from one animal before moving on to the next animal. The kit contains the required paperwork, including instructions, a submission form, duplicate labels, and a shipping air bill. 25 polystyrene tubes, 25 roll pack bags, two gallon size Ziplocs, three liner bags, two ice packs, a pin, and a large insulated cooler. We will ship lubricant to coordinators for distribution. You will need to provide your own gloves. You will need these items for this collection. Samples can only be collected Sunday through Wednesday to ensure they can be shipped to the lab and processed in the appropriate time. Collect duplicate fecal samples from five sheep from each of the following sheep types in this sample priority order. Pregnant ewes, nursing ewes, pre-wean lambs, wean lambs, and open ewes. If one sheep type is not present on the operation, collect extra samples from the highest priority sheep type to up to 10 sheep. Fresh samples are vital. Please collect directly from the rectum or immediately off the ground while the samples are still warm. Collect at least 10 fecal pellets from each animal. If you are also collecting samples for the GI Parasite Composite Kit, you will need to collect an additional 10 pellets. To collect fecal samples, apply lubricating jelly to the glove before entering the rectum. Place one or two fingers inside the rectum and gently stroke the rectum to help encourage defecation. For each animal, place five fecal pellets into one whirl pack bag and five fecal pellets into a polystyrene tube. On the duplicate labels provided, write the sheep's name or ID and the NOMS ID. The sheep name or ID will be used on the producer report and can be anything the producer wants. The NOMS ID is a four-digit ID that was assigned to the operation and provided to you by your state coordinator. The labels have a kit ID printed on them. Please make sure that this kit ID matches the kit ID that is on the label attached to the shipping box. Attach the labels onto the bag and tube for each sheep. Make sure you label the tubes and bags with the correct sample numbers and animal IDs. You will need to know the sample number and animal IDs when you fill out the digital collection record. A digital collection record is required for each operation. Please review the digital collection record video on our website. For the samples placed in the Whirlpack bag, express the air from the small Whirlpack bags, twist down twice, and secure. For the samples placed in the polystyrene tubes, close the tubes for each animal by tightening the lids. Then divide the sample bags and sample tubes into two different Ziploc bags. Once all labeled samples are placed in the Ziplocs, secure the Ziploc bags closed. Place each gallon sized Ziploc bag into their own liner bag and tie shut. Cool down the samples with ice packs, but do not freeze the samples. If necessary, replace the ice packs with frozen ones before shipping. Please be sure to remove any extra or unused supplies before shipping the samples to the lab. Do not include the styrofoam tube holder or empty tubes in the shipment. Fill out the pink NOMS enteric microbe submission form. This form simply asks for the NOMS ID, date, kit ID, and the number of samples submitted. Be sure to include this form with the samples when packing the kit for shipping. Shipping must occur Sunday through Wednesday. Please keep the samples cool and ship them within 24 hours of collection. Samples collected on a Wednesday must be shipped out the same day. The ice packs must be frozen 24 hours ahead of time. Do not freeze the samples. Insert the ice pack into the bottom of the cooler. Leave the small absorbent sheet in the cooler to absorb any potential leaks. Remember, do not include any of the extra tubes or styrofoam holder. All samples should be bagged in a Ziploc and placed into their respective liner bag. Add a second frozen ice pack to the top of the bag samples. Close the lid of the insulated cooler. Place the pink enteric microbe submission form on top of the cooler lid and secure the outer box with tape. Affix the provided shipping label to the outside of the box. The samples will be shipped to Iowa State University. My email address is included in the kit paperwork. Feel free to email me any sampling questions. Testing results will be returned to the producer two to three months after sampling.